Hello and welcome to another video on the Getting Started with Maui series where we'll look at the stack layout which is another fundamental of UI creation within uh, any XAML application. So we're, so for example, a WPF would have a stack panel. We have a stacked layout. Now, last week I did a video on the grid system, which uh, you have more finite control over, so you can specify your placement of items. With the grid layout, however, uh, sorry, with the stack layout, however, it's more linear. So all your children are in a stack, vertical or horizontal. So I have, as always, referred to the documentation, which I encourage you to do. And it gives you a great overview on some of the key points in order to manipulate the stack layout to do certain things that you want it to do. So you have spacing, you have the orientation itself, you have uh, your margins, you have your padding, you even have the ability to set uh, the um, position. So you can have um, things starting at the start uh, of a stack layout, at the center, end or fill. So you do have quite a, a good amount of control with stack layout. You can even use them to do um, nested. So for example, you want like this, you could create your own um, navigation bar uh, if you wanted to, and you can make all of these items clickable. Um, so I'll go through what the example code that I've got here and just quickly talk through what we've got. So I'm using an outer stack layout just to hold all of these. Now, please forgive me, I've just put this together quite quickly because it's quite late here in the UK. But uh, if we look what we've got, the first element is in a scroll view. And that's a great tool to use. And I would encourage everybody to wrap their whole UI, outer UI, in a scroll view if you want it to be compatible with really small, you know, small uh, phones like four and a half inch phones, etc. Um, just to make sure your whole UI does fit nicely inside. Now this stack layout has a margin of 20, which is 20 all around. Now your other option could be specifying, so you could say uh, margin 20 left, 20 top, 20 right, and zero bottom. Uh, this has got 10 spacing in between each element. So if we look what the elements are, we have just a label and we have these text, uh, sorry, these box views just to provide some uh, contents that. The second one, the second state stack layout, actually here you can see that I've done a left and right 20 and a top and bottom 10 for my margins and a, pad, a spacing of 15. And if you compare the original one, this one is a, a horizontal, but the vertical you don't need to specify by default. And that's a key point with any of the uh, XAML stuff. If you, if you specify a default value, it's a waste of a rendering cycle because it's reading anything that you put in. So for example, if a stack layout has a default um, spacing of zero and you want it to be zero, you don't have to type spacing zero. Um, within this, we've got two uh, frames and frames are really good, they're great for wrapping around photos, etc. because you can do corner radius, and this one's just filled with a, um, it's just filled with a gradient effect. Let's have a quick look at this last one. So this last one has a margin of 20 all round, it's got a spacing of 10, and this one actually has uh, three frames inside, now within the frames, each one has got a stack layout nested inside, and that's so we can put items next to each other. So if we wanted to, we could repeat this again. Uh, let's just add another label next to it. And I probably want to take this. Now because Maui is in preview, 
I have noticed it doesn't like doing hot reload with the gradient effect. So I'm just going to do a quick restart there just to resolve those namespace issues. And as you can see, because we've added these extra labels and the orientation of the nested is horizontal, we could even create a, um, again, a nav bar going across. That's if you wanted to create your own navigation system as opposed to using shell or even using some of the flyout menus or tab views. Um, that's all I wanted to cover, so thank you again. I am over the moon, I now have 111 subscribers. So if you do like this video, please like it and put a comment and uh, I don't get paid anything for these videos. Obviously, it's only a tiny, tiny little channel. I just do it to share some knowledge. So if you do like these videos, please let me know. Thank you.